Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to cook the most famous and tasty Spanish dish, paella valenciana. I got here some chicken and shrimps, but if you want that real taste of paella, you have to make it with chicken and rabbit. But if you don't have rabbit, of course you can replace it with shrimps. I got here also some uh, green bees and peas. I have some artichoke and the most important, the one which will give a special taste to the dish and special flavor is saffron. I'm going to show you how to uh, include this ingredient to the dish later. Okay, let's start now by frying the chicken and step by step I'm going to show you how to make the whole process and have a delicious dish. Okay, so we will start by uh, toasting the saffron. We are just going to put a pinch of saffron in an aluminium foil and fold it to look like an envelope. And then straight we are going to put it in a heated pan and we we'll leave it about 10 seconds per each side. Once finished with this, we'll take it out. Then we'll add some salt in the pan as well some olive oil and we'll add all the chicken which we have cut it in small chops and here we need to fry the chicken until it gets crispy very brown this is very important for the paella valenciana few minutes after we have added the chicken we will add as well uh, the shrimps but we will only let them uh, get fried for about one minute just until they uh, get that special uh, red color. Just until they get from both sides the same color as this one. Now we'll take them out in a separate plate and we are going to use them after. Okay, the chicken look nice. Now uh, let's add uh, the green beans and the peas. As well, we'll add a couple of uh, artichoke and two cloves of garlic. Here we need to fry the vegetables until they get as well that browny color, the same what we want from the chicken. Then we are going to add one tablespoon of paprika. This will give to the dish an amazing flavor. And the last thing, before we put it to boil, we'll add the granted tomato and we we'll leave it to get fried for about a minute. Now we are going to add the chicken stock Remember, you have to add 3 cups of chicken stock per 1 cup of rice. On this dish, I'm going to add 2 cups of rice, so we need to add 6 cups of chicken stock. Remember, we have toasted the saffron. Now is the time to add it to the, to the pan. But before we add it, we have to crush it with the finger, so we can get the, the, the taste which we want from it and then we will wait until the water get to boil so that after we can add uh, the rice is the time to add the rice we will add the two cups of rice remember you have to use short grain rice so it absorbs the water easy and uh, we will leave the pan to boil for about 10 minutes in high heat 
after a few minutes we will add uh, the shrimps and as well uh, the rosemary and then after the 10 minutes of high heat boiling we will reduce the heat and let it boil for about 5 minutes and in that moment we are going to cover the pan with the aluminium foil and after the 5 minutes, 5 to 6 minutes we are going to turn off the heat and let it to absorb the water for about other 5 minutes after all what we have done now is the time to unveil our masterpiece And we reached to the end, I really hope you liked the video and if you wanna see more like this, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and see you in the next episode.